Um, second tool we're going to look at is how you can actually run a few sort of diagnostic checks in the document. It's pretty good practice to do this, particularly when you cannot confirm the source of the documentation. Because there, there are, uh, I think there was a number, there's so many million um, DWGs in circulation, the chances are they've gone around the houses a bit. So by the time it gets to you, it might be um, sort of second or third hand. So it's a good idea to actually check that there's not, no sort of redundant information or details in the document. So typical problems that you can find with these files. I mean, if you find they're slow to respond and the file size is increasing, and also you might find you've got loads of layers on the document. Half of them aren't actually being used. So you can actually go through and clean up the document and just get rid of any extra items that you don't need. So if you go into this now, you'll notice this is all stored under the file menu. You've got this error check. And what this does, it looks at the document and inside the command window, which is at the bottom here. So the draft site is fairly heavily reliant on this command window. You can actually hit yes, or sorry, you can type yes or hit Y to actually run through, and it will tell you how many information it's actually checked, how many items that have been scanned, and whether there's any issues with the file. Hopefully, you won't have to do this that much, but it's always worth just running, running the, the tool. So the next thing we're going to look at as well, you notice we've got a series of different layers in this file, some of which may be redundant. So when you click on clean, what this does, it actually removes any unused items within the document, such as redundant layers, blocks, line and dimension styles, and anything else that you specify in this list. So you notice what it's looking for. It will show any unreferenced entities. And you can choose to confirm before you delete. And then it runs through and actually tells you which items it's going to remove. So then you can pick one individually. You'll notice it's just taking out the ones that you don't use. And then when I go to my Layers tab, you'll notice it's tidied up the amount of layers that are left behind. So we had about six before, and we've just trimmed them right down. Hopefully you don't ever need to use this last item, Recover. This is if you've got some real problems with the file. What this does, it allows you to browse to the item and then just try and, and, try and repair it from there. And it does like a full check on the, on the documentation.